This is where fresh meets comfort food. It is corn season. So today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, we are going to make creamed corn in the Instant Pot in just a matter of minutes. And guess what? You will see that I actually pressure cook dairy. And it does work, and it's delicious. <laughs> I love corn season. Fresh, crisp, sweet, juicy corn. Love it. But I also love comfort food. And by the way, if you love comfort food, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because I do a lot of comfort food. But first things first, the corn. You gotta cut it off the cob if it's fresh. And it should be fresh for this dish because it makes a huge difference in the flavor. Now, a lot of you know this trick, but some of you don't, so I'm gonna show you. This recipe calls for four ears of corn, and by the way, you can find the recipe at thespicyapron.com, link to that below, or in my new cookbook, Cooking with Your Instant Pot Mini. It's an Instant Pot authorized cookbook, uh, and so you can find it in there as well. Let's get back to the corn. Here's the thing about corn, if you're trying to remove the kernels off the cob, these suckers go flying everywhere, and if you've done it, you know what I'm talking about. So I like to cut it in a large bowl. And I'm just gonna show you how that works. That bowl will capture all of the corn as it's flying off. If you were doing this directly on the cutting board, I'm telling you, they go flying everywhere. So once you remove the kernels, the other thing that I like to do to add just that really fresh flavor is I use the back of my knife and I scrape any remaining bits and pieces with some of that corn milk in there and it just makes a big difference. So do not forget to do that. Now I have already cut the other cobs in there as you can see. All we're gonna do now is put it right here in our Instant Pot. So like I said, Instant Pot authorized cookbook for the mini, that's what this one is, but this recipe will work just as well in the full size. So I am going to dump all of our beautiful fresh corn. Can you see that? Oh my God, it's just, it's amazing. It already smells good, it hasn't even cooked yet. All right, so dump your corn in there, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and cook it for three minutes, and that is it. It is funny, as I'm looking down here at our ingredients, there isn't a lot of color to it. It's white, white, and white. So if you're trying to eat the rainbow, this is not that dish. So, again, dairy, milk, three quarters of a cup of milk, and a quarter cup of heavy cream. Don't omit the cream. It's delicious with the cream. All right, now the fun stuff. Eight ounces of cream cheese. I've cut it into pieces, so you just Plop it right there on top of your corn. I didn't say this was low cal. It's not, because now we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. I do love cooking with butter. And a couple pinches of salt. And two teaspoons of sugar to give it just a little bit of extra sweetness. Once you have all that goodness in there, as you can see, add some pepper to taste. You can also add pepper at the end just to make sure it's got just enough pepper for you. And that's it. We are gonna put the lid on. Make sure the valve is set to sealing. Don't forget it, I have forgotten it. The recipe won't work if you don't. Now, pressure cook, I think I got that button, for three minutes. It will take about three or four minutes to come to pressure. There's not a ton of liquid in here. And yes, it is dairy. And yes, it will work. You will see that. So as soon as it comes to pressure, then it's gonna cook for three minutes and then we're gonna bring it out and serve it. All right, the three minutes are up and I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure. Before I do, I just wanna clarify that comment about saying using dairy. There's a lot of chatter on the internet and Facebook groups that, oh no, you can't pressure cook dairy. I don't really understand where that comes from. So just so you know, I pressure cook dairy a lot. It does depend on the recipe. This recipe is perfect for it as you will see in a minute. So let's release the pressure, and I'll be right back. Okay, all the pressure is released, and all I can say is I wish you could smell this. This fresh corn, unbelievable. Uh, pressure is released, I know that, because the pin that's right next to the valve has dropped down. That means all the pressure's gone, and you can open it. And now we're gonna open it, and we're gonna check it out. Oh. Oh my God, the butter, the cream, the corn, the little bit of sugar, fabulous. Now, I'm gonna give it a quick stir, and the more you stir it, it will thicken up just a little bit. Uh, this is the consistency that I like it. If you like it thicker, just 
stir it a little bit longer. All right, there it is. Let me scoop it out for you. Uh, this is so perfect for summer, anytime meals. This dish takes your meal to a whole new level. You know what this would go great with? My Instant Pot ribs. I've got a link right here, and I really do have a lot of Instant Pot recipes, so if you like them, then like this video and go ahead and subscribe. All right, there it is. You've got the fresh corn. Okay, I just kind of made a mess. Fresh corn with cream, with cream cheese. <laughs> it's fabulous. Now, I know I said, really, it doesn't have a lot of color, and it doesn't, but... We can fix that by putting just a few green onions on top for color and flavor. Now I'm going to give it a taste. Wish you could smell it. Hot. Very, very, very hot. Be careful. Mmm. Woo! Look at how awesome. Can you see how awesome that looks? It's the perfect consistency. I knew it would be perfect, even though I pressure cooked the dairy. That's probably why it's so perfect. So, looping all the way back to where we started. This is the perfect combination of fresh and comfort food. Give it a shot. It only takes about 10 minutes to put together. It's fantastic. Comment below with what you think would be the perfect dish to serve with this cream corn. Don't forget to check out my other recipes in the book and happy cooking and happy eating. <laughs>